Hi everyone and welcome to this video. First of all I want to say to all of you Happy New Year and I wish that all of your big wishes and dreams come true. The videos that were coming up on my channel was the videos I did a couple of weeks before Christmas because during the Christmas we went to my um, in-laws and we were there for a week and I really missed doing this or filming on doing this video so I'm so happy to be here with you and uh, to do this video right now. Today I wear my glasses because I have a headache and uh, when I don't wear my glasses my headache gets worse so that's why I have them on. I have a couple of different glasses and this is how I feel today for my classic big ones. Now this is my first big haul uh, I'm going to do in this video so if you want to see what I bought uh, please keep on watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up or thumbs down just so I see how you feel about this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe keep on watching this is my biggest beauty haul ever I don't usually buy so many different things like I did now in December so uh, I did try a couple of things because I couldn't wait but I didn't open everything because I want to share that with you so uh, let me show you the package it's many many things in here uh, a couple of things I bought from this site 11.sc uh, it's Swedish website now I didn't buy all the things at the same place uh, I ordered a couple of things and um, from the different websites websites but I bought them all in maybe two or three days so <laughs> let me share it, what, er, what I have in here now I did buy this box for my lipsticks or other beauty things that I need I felt like I need more of these kind of boxes so I bought this one and then I really fell in love with this mirror it's so cute. Uh, now I lost my scissors for my eyebrows because I like to short my eyebrows maybe once a month. So I bought this cute package with all the needed things in here. So and then I bought this Real Techniques makeup brushes. I need new brushes in my collection. I felt like I, I did bought a couple of new brushes, but I felt like I really need to throw away many of the old ones. It's time to throw away my old brushes, so I bought new. Then I bought this Laura Mercy Loose Setting Powder. I bought this Lucent. I heard so many good things about this powder and I am excited to try it myself and see what I think about it. Then I bought, I love candles and uh, this is a candle and it's mandarin sandwood, wood, sandwood, uh, sandal, mandarin sandalwood, home fragrance and it smells, yeah, it smells like mandarin and sandalwood. I really love the packaging, I think it's so cute. And the other one that I bought is same brand but a different color and a different smell. It's apple cinnamon also. Smells really like apple cinnamon. I really love this smell. And I couldn't decide which one to buy so I bought both of them. I bought this Kevin Murphy. is one of my favorite brands. Uh, I use Kevin Murphy shampoos and... Uh, hair products and it's one of my favorite brands for my hair and this is anti-frizz curl defining cream and I love this one now this maybe works better with shorter hair than mine but I tested this one and I loved it so I bought, bought one for myself and the other product, product from Kevin Murphy it's shimmer shine uh, repairing shine mist this one I love love this one it's look it's like gold shimmer in it and it smells very nice and it makes my hair shiny a little bit I needed a very good mask for my face uh, facial mask so I bought three of L'Oreal's skin expert pure clay purify purify mask 
if this is how it looks and then I bought one more for from L'Oreal this is pure clay glow mask this one is green and this is one is gray and then I bought this expo mask from L'Oreal too so these three masks and I'm going to do a review of this on my channel I'm going to do a video and this is how they look uh, so don't forget to subscribe if you have already haven't so you don't miss this video I'll put this back in the box and then I was very curious a month ago I know I bought eyeshadow from e.l.f. that I really loved and I was really curious to try other eyeshadows from e.l.f. because I didn't own any of them and it was really hard for me in Sweden to find so I found on this 11.se uh, website this beautiful palette it's Spotlight Ready 50 piece eyeshadow and face palette and I, I bought this immediately when I saw this on the website I ordered this one the one thing that I find though funny it's I don't understand why packaging is so big if you compare it to this palette I thought the palette was like this big but but I'm not disappointed at all I didn't try this one I didn't do any swatches but this is how it looks, it comes with a big big mirror and this is all eyeshadows and when you lift this one you get blushes and contouring bronzers it's kind of very good pigmented, it feels like it and it feels really soft I don't know if you can see it. I will do a makeup look uh, with this palette for you guys to see. But I think these colors are beautiful. I like this palette. It has different colors for different different looks. It feels kind of heavy, but the mirror feels heavier than the palette. Uh, it's a very good big mirror. There is a couple of uh, shiny and um, also matte. That wasn't really good, but I like that. I like this palette. The one thing that I'm disappointed though that it doesn't include any brushes. I would like them to have maybe a, a blending brush or another eyeshadow brush, just because this is like ready to go palette. You can just take it with you and you have everything you need in here. Yeah, and I think it would be better if it also came with the brushes, brush or two. But that's just my opinion. I heard a good things or reviews of this Rodial uh, Instagram airbrush primer. And this is an expensive primer. I think uh, maybe around $45, I think. And for me it's an expensive primer. And uh, I did try this at New Year's Eve and I liked it but I think I need to try this couple more times before I say or give my full review or thoughts about this one because I did like it but I can't really say if it made my makeup stay longer I really can't say so I have to try this one a couple of my more times before I give my full review uh, I like the packaging this is how it looks then I bought the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup uh, Foundation. I um, bought in this fresco color 2C3. I'm going to try this foundation and do my full review of this one. Uh, I will do a video uh, and see how this wears on me. Uh, this will be up to 15 hours. If this stays 50 hours on my face, I will be the happiest woman on this earth because I work long hours and I need my makeup to stay. Then I bought another palette that I heard a lot of things about and this is NYX Professional Makeup Love Contours All palette. This palette has uh, nine different eyeshadows, two highlighters, uh, two contour uh, colors or contours and 
to eyebrow colors or eyebrow shadows, shadows for eyebrows. When I got this one, I was a little bit disappointed because I thought this palette would be bigger than it actually is. This palette I did try and that's what I wear today and I'm in love in this palette. I really really love all these colors. It comes, it feels kind of heavy, it comes with a be beautiful mirror and this is how the palette looks like. Now this in the middle of the nine eyeshadows, the two, those two up here, this is highlighters and this, these two are contour. Uh, colors and these two are for eyebrows and this is really a palette that I, that I would take with me when I travel because I can make so many different looks with these eyeshadows there are um, three shimmer, shimmery or four shimmery colors I think it's four and the other five are matte and they are beautiful they are pigmented they are really really lovely and I love this palette. I really love this palette. It's really, it's very pigmented. I don't know if you can see this. The only thing that I miss in this palette are blushes. I don't know why, why they did this contours all palette without a blush. I can't imagine me doing makeup look or everyday makeup look or any makeup look without a blush so that's one thing that I miss in this palette and I think this it would be great if they do something similar to this and put some maybe a one color or two color of different blushes so you can blend or mix and uh, yeah because this is a palette I'm definitely going to take with me when I travel but I will need to think to take with me blush. Then I bought a couple of other things from e.l.f. It's this lip exfoliator. Uh, gently exfoliates lips, removes dry chapped skin. Just wanted to try this one. So I bought this. And uh, I haven't tried it, I haven't even opened this before. It looks like a lipstick. And it, I don't want to try it on my lips, but it feels hard a little bit, but yeah, I just want to try this exfoliator. Now, and it smells very nice, almost like candy. Huh? It's clear. Then I bought this lip color matte tea rose from uh, e.l.f. on my head and I love this color. Look how beautiful this color is. It's really like purple, pinky, deep color tea rose it's called. And I haven't tried the other products from e.l.f. Uh, lip products from e.l.f. and I, they did have a red color too, but I didn't buy it because I really want, wanted something like this and I really wanted to try this before I maybe look for or try to buy other colors. Uh, and then I also bought this under eye primer from e.l.f. I just opened the packaging, I haven't tried this. Uh, the, this is the first time that I hear about this kind of product, under eye primer. I haven't heard about this product from other brands and this is the first time I see one and I really want to try this. It comes like this in a pump. The only thing I don't like uh, is the packaging really because I, I like when I can see the product, how much I have left of it. But I will definitely do a video. I think I'm going to do a review of all these three together. This expensive primer, this foundation and maybe this under eye primer and see what I feel about them together. I remember that I needed to order new eyelashes so I bought three different from uh, what is this brand it's Dre, Dre, 
grey eyelashes or the ray? I will put the link, or I will put all the information in this inscription box. But this is how this looks like. This is eyelashes WSP and they are beautiful. Really like that. These are eyelashes 747M. And this is eyelashes 213. 213. I really like them. It's from the same brand. I haven't tried this before, this brand before. I heard they don't feel heavy. This is my three new eyelashes. Then I bought for the first time Pixie by Petra. So I will put all the information, like I said, before, down down below. Uh, this is Fairy Dust Favorites Loose Pigment. This is a uh, matte Fairy Dust Favorite Matte Classics, and this is the metallic warmth, the metallic ones. I haven't tried this before. I haven't even opened them, and you get all these five eyeshadows together, and then you just I don't know turn this like this and then you have eyeshadow this one is really wrong color to show you guys because it's almost like my skin color ah, you can't see this one but it feels soft uh, and I'm excited to try this these I really am it's five colors and then I bought this metallic one. These are the the ones that I really ex am ex excited about that I really want to try. These metallics. Let me see if we can try this red one. It feels really soft. Oh, this one is very pigmented. Here it is. Can you see? It's a beautiful color. I'm not sure that I would like this kind of packaging, but I can give it a try. And then I um, bought so many things that I, then I bought this clean home fragrance rain uh, candle. I love these perfumes or fragrances. I love the fragrance doesn't really stay long during the whole day, so. Uh, but I love how they smell and this is a candle that I got and it really really smells nice look how beautiful this candle is and this one is rain and it really smells fresh I love this one and it's heavy and I like the packaging I have a video about this uh, Amipure Pure uh, face roller, and I did try this the, for whole two months. You roll this the, during a week, every second night, and then you rest for a week. The, the other one, one week more, then you rest, then one week more. So four times. It's uh, actually the four weeks you do the roll, rolling, or how you say it. But and you have four weeks rest. So together it's two months and I did all my two months and I'm coming up this week with a video about my results. And I just can say this much that I love in my face roller so I bought a whole new. And I bought because I have deeper acne scars that I'm going, I, I want to get rid of. The results are amazing. This is how everything looks like. And I have photos before and after photos, so if you haven't subscribed, please put this, that button because I don't think you want to miss this video. I'm very happy with all the things that I bought. I think they're terrific products and I can't wait to try them out. I'm going definitely to do reviews or videos when I try these products on and give you all my thoughts. Yeah, please let me know what you think and if you already have tried something, some of these products, please let me know what you think about them. I'm actually really happy. Thank you very much for my 100 subscribers. I'm really, really happy. I really love doing these videos. I love doing them in English. I know I don't speak English perfectly. I know I, I, know I say and pronounce things wrong, words wrong, but 
I really really love doing this in English because it gives me time and opportunity to learn more and to speak this language. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you. Bye!